periodontists or doctors who do other types of grafting, this procedure can really be modified and combined with other grafting techniques that you already know. This is definitely Miller class three recession. We have papilla loss. We have no attachment. If you look closely, we actually have both recession and a dehiscence. There is actually a tiny little bit of attachment right here. That's the sulcus. So he's got multiple defects on one tooth. He's been told that this tooth needs extracted. He's obviously got occlusal issues, which is part of the problem. And he just wants to throw a Hail Mary. He says, hey, can I save this tooth? And I said, well, let's try. So we did, I did a combination of a pinhole procedure and a lateral pedicle graft. Um, we do bill the pinhole procedure as a pedicle graft. It is a D4270 in the United States. Um, here's our little pinholes, one here and one here, a mucosal access, there was no flap. I did de-epithelialize a little bit. Again, no connective tissue from the roof of the mouth. And because I did slide some tissue laterally, I placed one little tiny vicral suture that you can barely see. This is it the next day. This is the case after three weeks. You can see that suture charting starting to dissolve. This is the case after six weeks. Sorry, this picture quality wasn't as good. My assistant and I had to talk about photography after that one, but you can see the tissue healing in. And then this is him 15 months after treatment. There is now no reason to pull this tooth. It does not look significantly different than any of his other teeth. And honestly, this is the tooth I'm worried about the least. I'm much more worried about some other stuff he's got going on now. So this is a life-saving procedure for this tooth. He was ready to have that tooth pulled and he wanted to throw the Hail Mary and we threw it and we got a pinhole touchdown. It was just a, a very, very nice, perfect result. And for 15 months, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm.